I bet you can tell what hand that is. And what hand that is. Yeah. Mm. Due to YouTube pulling off my uh, comments and not my videos, I thought I would change my tactics and strategy at exposing Islam. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go into a whole new avenue. I'm going to get into art. I am going to get into art like I had planned a long time ago. But what kind of art have I chosen? Clay. I am going to get into clay. I am going to play with clay. And it's been a long time since I did things with clay. Long time. Green, yellow, blue, and red. And you mix them in such a way you can make all the colors of the rainbow. Well, actually, it's all the colors of the rainbow now, actually, yeah, but um, you can make things out of them. And I'll be, of course, yeah. But I thought that I would make things again. It's been a long time since I've made anything with clay. Long time. Uh, started making things with clay back when I was a kid. Doesn't smell like I remember it. Or my nose is... Maybe, maybe there's a new kind of oil in there. Oh, this is... Oh, it's Crayola. But gee, it doesn't smell like the clay I remember. Maybe the maybe the they must be using a different kind of. It doesn't smell like the clay I remember. How strange! No. Huh. So much for nostalgia. It's changed. I guess the clay that I used as a kid was carcinogenic and uh, caused uh, people to turn into baby boomers. I don't know, but anyway. Um. Uh, <clears throat> long time ago let's see here yeah I was one of those kids that was you know kind of retarded yeah uh, slow learner when it came to reading I just it was kind of like my own world uh, people call it Asperger's now hey I like that I like that yeah Gosh, it does not smell like the clay I remember. That's yeah, really something. But I, would, I bet I can still make the sort of things I did way back then. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was... Yeah, uh, when I was about five, almost six, yeah, mom thought, hmm, that guy's not reading. Yeah, because she, you know, she started like reading like she was like two or something like that. And <laughs> she thought I was retarded, so she put me in this uh, place called the the uh, Waldorf School. Yeah, and funny thing is, they they didn't teach you squat about you know it was it was mostly a weird cultic art school. Yeah, and uh, I had a German teacher named Mr. Heinz, and uh, I tell you what. Uh, he was, he was definitely old school. Uh, I wasn't good at drawing. And so he would slap my face. and go, nang, nang. And uh, put me behind a... I don't know. But anyway... <laughs> yeah, things were different back then, you know. So my when my mom found out that you know I was getting uh, abused, she took me out of that, that school. And put me back in regular class. And anyway... I was just off into my own little world. If, if the subject was a little bit boring, man, I was, I was, I was uh, gone. I mean, thinking of other things, you know. It was hard to concentrate. Very ADD, very much into my own world. Uh, yeah, uh, the teacher thought I'd be laughing at her. I wasn't laughing, I was just thinking of things that were funny, you know, while she was teaching, you know, so that's how, so, yeah. But, uh, 
Anyway, uh, in the Waldorf school, they, uh, uh, would have us do stuff with beeswax and, uh, clay, but uh, it was mostly beeswax. I mean, you come in cold, you come in cold in the morning and the beeswax was hard. And then I like the smell of the beeswax. It smelled great. It was different colors, mostly, uh, it was mostly brown and beige or light colored. And, uh, you would, uh, your hands would work it and work it, and then by golly, the heat. That was the object of the game, was to use your hands to warm it up, and then you could make things out of it. And uh, I'd make, uh, you yeah, know, lambs and things, and, and uh, animals, of course, you know. Um, and uh, anyway, that's where it kind of started. I noticed that I, was, I noticed that I was getting some attention because I was good at making things, and then uh, since I wasn't in, in doing well that, I mean you know, as far as that went, <laughs> uh, then later went to another school, <laughs> and uh, it was at that time it was it was it was uh, briefly at a at a a small. A small, uh, small town. And trouble is, if you're, if you're in a small town and you're not with the program, you're going to stand out. And if you're like in a, in a, one of those, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> schools where, uh, you know, you're, uh, not very, uh, well, you're being helped for reading stuff, you're going to quickly get to the, uh, attention of you're gonna you become you're gonna become known as the village retard that's for sure and uh, anyway I of course being in a small town village idiot got picked on a lot and I well I ended up liking King Kong. King Kong became like my uh, idol, I guess you could say. Yeah, because King Kong was always in the movie. He was always a uh, you know fighting dinosaur. It was, it was always being picked on, you know. And I felt, man, that's like I felt like I could relate, I could relate to that thing. So King Kong became my idol. And in the class, instead of learning how to read and stuff, uh, the teacher just had us, you know, make, uh, you know make things out of clay or write and I got really I was I was writing before I was reading and I would make clay King Kongs for the kids in my class and the highlight of the day was watching them you know stab and with the pencils and crushing them in books and things you know oh I'll be back let's see here yeah, I'm a second here Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. Uh, all right, just, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll come in there and uh, see what you want. I'll come and see what you want, okay? Oh, I, I, I know. It's weird. That's weird. It, you're breaking up. Uh, that's weird. All right, I'll be in there. All right, bye-bye. Ah, gotta go. Okay, end of part one. Bye.